Hello and welcome to Infinity. In episode two of our beginner's course, we looked at the very simple way of improving a picture by simply going to these four automatic fixes up here. Now what we're going to do is take control away from Affinity Photo and give it to you. So you're going to do what these do, but making your own decisions about how they're going to be applied. Levels here, the auto levels, we're going to do that later because that's a bit more difficult one. This one here, we're going to start with here, which is contrast, which like the little picture shows, it's about the black and white in an image as opposed to the colour, which we'll, we'll do next. And there are quite a lot of ways that we'll get to about how you can affect the back and black and white, the uh, monochrome aspects of an image. But today we're simply going to start with one, which is brightness and contrast. It's quite straightforward, but also I'm going to show you about the adjustments and how you use them. So if, over here, you're going to go to this one here, adjustment. You're not going to worry about the others. Um, you here might have heard a lot about layers. We'll come to that one day. We're going to start on the easier ones, which are the adjustments here. So we go down here. And I click on the brightness and contrast. And there we get a control comes up here. And also in here, we've got some presets that we can apply. So the default is where it starts at the beginning, nothing's changed. And then you've got a lighter one, a darker one, a lower contrast one, and an increased contrast one. And each of these, all you see here, is it's, all these have done is simply move these controls. That's all they've done. So we've go back to the default, which hasn't changed anything, and we decide now what it's going to do. Quite unsurprisingly, these are like the TV controls, where or any monitor or screen, you can turn the brightness up, and it gradually everything moves towards white. It doesn't go completely white, and that's deliberate because you, nobody wants just a completely white picture. And as you turn this down, it gets more and more dark. The contrast. When you turn up contrast, now the lights get lighter and the darks get darker. And that's what contrast is. It's tilting that balance to make it more dark and more light at the same time. And the opposite of it is everything sort of flattens. It goes greyer. You just literally are adding grey into the picture by kind of squeezing up the colours. So what we want to do then is decide what we want to do. Do we want to make it lighter? Sometimes light and lightness makes it brighter here, but it's maybe can do with a little bit of kind of darkening down a bit because when we adjust the contrast, remember we're going to make the darks darker and the lights lighter. So I'm going to turn this up here. Now when you turn this up here, you don't want to go too far because it looks unreal, but go far enough that it's a pleasant effect. And then there you go, we're going to leave it at that. So there you've used the brightness and contrast. Now what you need to do around here. If I want to click on there, add preset, I won't do it now, but you could save it so your choice was here as well. Normally what you'll do here is hit merge, which will basically keep it in the original picture. Delete means throw it all away. I don't want to do this at all. Reset will put these sliders just back to the middle again. Opacity down here is a bit like volume control. If I turn it down, it sort of increases and the effect or not. And the blend mode here, just ignore that. We'll come to it one day. So I'll just hit merge. And now I've kept it. Very quickly, we're going to just have a look at the effect of this. So now we're going to a gradient, and which is just gradually going from black all the way through to white. Now just watch what happens here. If I turn up the white, see it's sort of like the, the brightness, the it, the white pushes across towards there. So what was a, a, a grey becomes much lighter. If I go back the other way, and now the black pushes its way across here, and what was quite light is now darker. Contrast, well, now what happens is I turn this up, the black pushes in and the white pushes in as well. So this pushes this way, this pushes this way. So you've got a very narrow band of grey in the middle. And then the opposite is the grey pushes outwards 
and the blacks get not so black and the whites get not so white. And that's how the contrast works in practice and that's what we're doing just now. Okay, that's it for now and thank you very much for watching.